everybody, I the Trans223 here, back again with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2015 Trackmaster Toby. Now, I'll start with him in the box. Uh, first, right off the bat, we see their, uh, the usual markings, uh, taller, steeper, faster, uh, actually are gone. Uh, I guess they finally realized that it wasn't true. Um, uh, another thing, they got a CGI promo, all nice. Sorry if the lighting is a little weird, I'm filming this in uh, a wet floor today. Yeah, uh, anyways. So, uh, I'll be honest, uh, the redesigned Toby isn't terrible. Um, it's probably one of the better ones. But, uh, I'm glad they finally got rid of the mis, uh, mismarketing. Uh, now I got this this morning when I went to Walmart. They, uh, had him and Freddy, but I didn't get Freddy. Uh, let's see if I can... There. So, uh, we'll open him up and then we'll compare him to the old version. So, here we have him out of the box. Uh, it comes with the, you know, the usual instruction manual, how to put it in the battery and such, and then his giant name board thing. Uh, his promo. It's a nice promo. I wish Ark would kind of redo the promos, though. Uh, first, uh, we'll look at Toby himself. Uh, the bad things about it, of course, uh, shares the same chassis as everything. Uh, unpainted buffers, no painted coupling, they no longer paint the, uh, the lamp. Uh, I'm actually genuinely surprised they, uh, they actually painted his bell. I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but they actually painted it gold, which is, uh, a lot more than they could do on certain other items. Uh... No painted back lamp, no painted back buffers either. Uh, yeah, honestly, Toby isn't bad when it comes to the redesigns. I kind of like it. He's a bit more fat than usual, but, you know, you gotta expect fat things. Uh, he comes with this random green vent van, which, uh, is one of those throwaway things. I just now noticed that it actually has holes in its wheels, like... Like the, uh, Taken Plays do. But what would have been a nice thing is if they made a three-pack or something and would have included Henrietta. Oh, this is my edited Hen or Henrietta I, uh, did out of face. Because we, we need more Henrietta merchandise with your face. So it would have been nice to see something like this in the pack, but, you know, you can't please everything, and you can't please everybody. Uh, now, as I said, uh, it's a really nice model. His 7 is actually, um, outdented, which is actually a surprise for me. I didn't even know that until I just now looked at it. The face looks, uh, actually pretty accurate to the CGI promo. I have to say, uh, Toby's probably one of the best redesigns they've done. Uh, of course, the silly traction tires and everything. So, uh, we'll open him up real quick. Since I just got him out of the box, I haven't put him, uh, battery in him yet. So, uh, of course, usual chassis. Same chassis they use for everything. Uh, here's a shell. It is literally just everything else. Here's the inside of it. Uh, for some reason, mine has some kind of white paint on it or something. Uh, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. I mean, it would be better if, like, I'm sure it could be better. It, it literally could be better, like painted buffers, painted coupling, painted lamp. Those are just some things you have to deal with sometimes, and, s and sometimes it could be a good thing if you want to add, like, an actual lamp to Toby, like I know UC Weapon has, and 
uh, Trackmaster Village has. I, I won't, because <laughs> I'm not very good at doing projects, but, uh, yeah. Um, so we'll compare it to the old, uh, sorry, I'm filming this outside, as you can see, so. We'll, we'll compare it to the old, uh, 2009 Toby. As you can see, um, the old 2009 Toby, of course, has this little black dot on his nose, which is that his face is, uh, more forward than the front of his cowcatcher. So, if he hits a wall or something, like this, he just goes boom, his face will hit it first, and the paint will scratch off of his nose. Uh, we'll look at the front view first, let me just put the redesigned Toby back on his chassis. Um, it, they're the exact same length, which I'm actually a little surprised about. Uh, I would have thought they were a bit longer. Uh, goddamn planes. Uh, of course, like I said, the redesigned Toby is a bit more fat than usual, but you gotta get used to fat things. Hello! Um, one thing that's a plus side out of uh, this is the roof detail is actually painted, and so is this funnel. Which is uh, props to Mattel. Uh, good job. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> uh, of course, other things. This Toby here takes a little while to open. I mean, you gotta take off his middle wheel and then push down and everything. And the fact that this takes a C battery and the redesign takes the triple A's like everything else. We'll just look at the shells now. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, I'll let you um, look at them. As, as you can see, one is obviously flatter than the other one, so it's like... Yoo, yoo. I, I am very strange, I know. Uh, here's the rear. They didn't paint the, uh, the lamp on the old one either, but uh, again, you gotta expect some, some flaws with everything, so... Uh, what I liked about the old one is that it didn't have this little clip here in the back. And if they, I, I honestly, I, I, see, I know why they do it is so that the, it actually clips on and stays on. But if you're going to do it, could you at least make it the same color as the engine? Uh, that's just one of my minor gripes I have with the, um the redesigns. I mean, here, Gator, it, it, it looks just strange having some black thing sticking out of his ass. Um, same with Toby. Honestly, I don't think it would be that difficult to make it brown or make this green or make Thomas's blue or something. I mean, they used to do it with James, I think. I, I don't know. I haven't gotten a redesign of James, I don't think. But they used to do it with James, and it worked out fine because the plastic was already red. But, um, but moving on again, uh, the I like the redesigned Toby. It's like I said, one of the better redesigns, uh, if not the best redesign. I think uh, it has a lot more detail than the old one, in fact. So. Uh, I kind of like it. I mean, they even painted the gold handrails there, and there. And I'm, I'm actually proud of Mattel on this one. The fact that the, uh, the side plates are still, like, they're actually molded on is not really a plus side, but, you know, the other engines have their running boards molded on, so. Can't expect everything. Uh... say the redesigned Toby is quite nice. Uh, I never thought I'd actually say that with one of the redesigns. Uh, it's one of them that I'm glad I actually have. Uh, if not, 
I would say that it is probably one of the best redesigns, if not the best, as I said before. Um, they, they even, they just added a bunch of detail on it, and I'm actually proud of Mattel on this one. So, I honestly don't think I ever thought I would say I like one of the redesigns. Of course, I still don't like the traction tires and everything, and the fact that they share the same chassis with each other. But, uh, you know. If you're looking at it as a kid, uh, sharing the same chassis isn't that bad. Um, so you can make Toby have green wheels, or whenever Bill and Ben come out, you can have Toby have red wheels like he's supposed to. And, uh, have side rods like he's supposed to. Yeah, Ark, Ark, you fucked up, Toby. He's supposed to have side rods. He gave you the hole for that. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, I wish they would have done... I, I can still say I'm not a huge fan of the redesigns, but there's, there's engines like this, Spencer, Charlie, that honestly aren't half bad, but then there's the ones that remind you that they're just god-awful, like Edward and Emily. Uh, so, I would honestly, if you're a fan of Toby, I would pick it up, and if you're looking for a Trackmaster Toby and you can't find one of the old ones or the 2012 ones, I, I would say the the redesign is a good, good choice. Uh, it has a lot more detail than some of the old ones. Uh, and as far as I can see, his face doesn't stick out as much as his old one did. So, uh, there's no chance of getting the, the black on his nose, which, <laughs> plus side. Of course, there's a couple of things you'd want to do, like paint the buffers, coupling, and lamp. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta live with that. Um, yeah. So, I'll give him a test run, and, uh, yeah. So, that's my review on the new Toby. Uh, yeah. So, here's the test run. Hope you guys like this, and bye, I guess. One little thing before the test run. I just put batteries in him. I don't know if it's just my model, but mine seems to be making, like, a strange grinding noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Not sure if it's just my model, but I, I don't know if that's supposed to happen or I just just put it in and it sounded weird, so thought I'd uh, thought I'd share it. Uh, now on to the test run. And so that is my review on the 2015 Trackmaster Toby. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next review. Bye. And so that is my review on the 2015 Trackmaster Toby. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next review. Bye!